Hi, I'm T. Helen Sage, and this is Sage Transformations Yoga here on YouTube. Uh, if you're here for the first time, awesome. This is trying some nurturing yoga for you. This is part two of a three part series. Today, I wanted to focus on the core. Without our core, we kind of, you know, it's like the tree trunk. If you don't have a strong tree trunk, then the, the limbs aren't gonna be able to be held up. Our, we're not gonna be able to move our limbs if we don't have a strong core. And know this, that if you have a strong core, it doesn't mean that you have a flat belly. <laughs> you can have a very, very strong core and still have a belly. So just, if you have a belly, love it. If you don't have a belly, love it. Just love yourself, you know, love yourself all up because you're all that you have. Close eyes and breathe. Have you breathed yet today? Like feel your breath go in and feel your breath go out. And even bring hands up to heart, connect to heart space. And just make that heart to body connection. Self love. So if we can't love ourselves, then how can anyone else love us? But I don't think we're ever taught really how to love ourselves and how to nurture ourselves. So that's why we come to our mats to practice. It's one reason I do. But just connect to that heart space and feel that beauty in there. And open eyes. Okay, side bend. Gotta warm up a little bit. So left leg goes straight out, right foot's on inside thigh. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, side bend left. And you can have that hand on the inside or outside of that leg or on the leg, wherever you're comfortable. Let's go chest opener. So right hand right below the shoulder and reach back with that arm. Relax neck. You can have feet turned on. So as if you're pressing against gas pedals on both feet, you are toes are back and spread. That left leg especially is turned on. Ah, and just, yeah, feel that breath. Feel that breath go in and feel the breath go out. Okay, next stretch. So back hand comes down, palm faces towards floor and hand hovers about 10, 12 inches above the floor and relax neck. Hmm. You can even sigh, you can lick your lips. Yeah. Okay, take right hand, pull yourself on up, left hand goes on side of head, lift head. Other side, right leg goes out, left foot's on inside front thigh. Side bend right. Right arm comes up, big inhale. Exhale, side bend right. Chest opener. Left arm goes back. And let it, not straight up to ceiling, because I could crank on the shoulder. And just below shoulder. And if you do have shoulder issues, and this is pinching in any way, place hand on chest. That way you could still open, but you, Create a shorter lever arm, much easier on your shoulders. And relax neck. 
Back hand comes down. Next stretch. Hand hovers about 10, 12 inches. Breathe left side of neck. Relax that jaw. That right shoulder blade comes down the back. Get some space between that low ear and shoulder. Okay, take left hand. Pull yourself on up. Right hand goes on side of head. Lift head. Elbow to knee on your back. Here we go. Actually, lower abdominal weight up first. I want you to feel this first. Knees over hips, feet parallel with knees, hands on thighs. Big inhale in. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down. Exhale, push thighs into hands, hands into thighs, whole belly down. Release out of there, big inhale. Hold that inhale, push top part of sacrum down. Exhale, squeeze thighs into hands, hands into thighs, pull belly down. Ooh, good morning. <laughs> inhale, release. Big inhale in. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down. Exhale, push thighs into hands, hands into thighs, pull belly down. And then bring feet down. Whew. So you should feel that in your lower abdominals. And that's what I want you to feel in this next one. Okay, ready? Knees come back up. And this is elbow to knee. Hands clasp behind head. Elbows are close together. Okay. Feet active. So the toes are pointing up to ceiling. Inhale, head, shoulders come up. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, sit knees, straight up to ceiling. Exhale, head, shoulders, left thigh, right leg reaches out 45 degrees. Pull belly down. Inhale, knees come back, head, shoulders stay up. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, reach through knees, exhale, head, shoulders, right thigh, reach left leg, pull belly down. Are we warm yet? <laughs> Inhale, bring knees on back, head, shoulders stay up. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, reach through knees, knees go straight up to ceiling. Exhale, head, shoulders, left thigh, reach, right leg, 45 degrees, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders come back. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, Reach knees towards ceiling, exhale. Elbows towards right thigh, reach left leg, 45 degrees, pull belly down. We'll do one more round, inhale, head, shoulders stay up. Pause, push top part of sacrum down, reach knees up to ceiling, exhale, head, shoulders, left thigh, reach right leg, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders come back. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, reach, Knees up to ceiling, exhale, head, shoulders, right thigh, reach left leg, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders, back down, bring woo, head, shoulders down, feet down, and go, oh, yeah. <laughs> and just close eyes. Put one hand on belly and feel all of that amazing work that you just generated within your body. That's kind of cool. And you can push thighs away from you to stretch those lower abdominals out. Awesome. Okay, twisting abs with the block. Here's where your block comes in. So the block goes in between knees and it goes medium wide. I mean, it's all kind of wide. Wide wise. Legs straight up to ceiling, unless you are super back tweaky or really tight hamstrings, you could bend knees. The legs straight up. And let's reach through the ball of the foot. Hands clasp behind head, elbows are close, they're not stretched out. 
close, straight up to ceiling. Big inhale in. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, squeeze block, reach through legs, exhale, head, shoulders, left thigh, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders, come back down. Pause the breath, push top part of sacrum down, squeeze block, reach through legs, exhale, head, shoulders, right thigh, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders, back down. Pause, push top part of sacrum down, squeeze block, reach through legs, exhale, head, shoulders, left thigh, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders, back down. Pause, push top part of sacrum down, squeeze block, reach through legs, exhale, head, shoulders, right thigh, pull belly down. Inhale, head, shoulders, back down. Woo wee, are we warm yet? <laughs> right. Inhale in. Pause. Push top part of sacrum down. Squeeze block. Reach through legs. Exhale. Head, shoulders. Left thigh. Pull belly down. Inhale. Head, shoulders. Back down. Pause the breath. Push top part of sacrum down. Squeeze block. Reach through legs. Exhale. Head, shoulders. Right thigh. Pull belly down. Yeah, inhale, head, shoulders, back down. Bring feet down and go, oh yeah. You know, I think part of it, part of having a strong core is just also education of the muscles and waking up the muscles. And these abdominals work in a different way rather than doing sit-ups or crunches. So there you go, I think they're more functional. And thank you, Anna Forrest. Okay, stretch out. <sighs> okay, bridge. If you are back tweaky or knee tweaky, keep the block in between your knees. It's actually kind of a nice way to work. But take a little outsides of feet. Feet are hip distance apart. Palms face up. Inhale into low back. Push top part of sacrum down in a mat. As you exhale, Lift glutes. Toes up and spread. So you're pushing through the ball of the foot, pushing through the heel of the foot. And I even like to sometimes, I have my hands and the thumbs go right on top of the sacrum and I push down. I push those hips down. And as I inhale, I lift chest to chin and it decompresses that low back and feels really, really good. I'm gonna breathe right into that heart space. Breathe into the singing of your thighs. And as you exhale, give it to that heart space. Take another big inhale in. Exhale, bring upper back down, middle back, low back, bring tailbone down last. And just take a moment. I love to see what Bridge does. Okay, remove block, it goes off to the side. And roll it over. Dolphin. One leg up, one arm up. So you have options in your dolphin. To set up, bring knees underneath hips, elbows underneath shoulders, grab upper arms, and then clasp hands. Send shoulder blades down back. And we're working on using all of these abdominal muscles we just woke up. Pull belly in so that you're not falling into low back. Toes are tucked, breathe, upper back. Exhale, straighten legs. And you want a little wider stance in your dolphin. Okay, dolphin, one leg up. So actually, I just told you to have a wider stance. <laughs> Bring one foot a little bit towards midline, other leg raises.
relax, nap. And those abdominals, use them to support your back. Switch legs, so reach out with that upward leg as you bring it back down, place it down with the other leg. Reach up with those toes, with that leg. Leg goes up to ceiling. Squeeze sit bones and use that to lift you up and out of your shoulders. Okay, reach out with that leg, bring it down. Bring knees down, have wide knees. And go ahead, child's pose. Take a resting moment. Okay, come on back. I'm going to go into dolphin again, but dolphin with one arm. So grab upper arms, clasp hands, send shoulder blades down, chest muscles on, toes tuck. Inhale, upper back. Exhale, straighten legs. And this time, definitely have the wider, wider feet. Dolphin, one arm up. So bring, if you're feeling stable enough, you do not have to do this, you don't have to. But push left elbow down in the mat, left hand and right foot and reach left arm up to, uh, alongside your torso. So right arm comes back. Bring that hand down, other side. So push right elbow down in a mat, left foot down in a mat, left arm comes straight back along the torso. Keep breathing, use the breath. And then left arm comes back Bring knees down, ooh, yeah. Ah, embryo, reaching those arms overhead. Resting forehead on the mat. Breathe into the back. Mm. Breathe into low back. Come on over, go ahead and lay on your back. Knees to chest. Squeezing those knees, hugging those knees. And then Shavasana, so legs go straight, arms out the side, palms face up. Big breath in and a big breath out. And you can lay here as long as you would like. When you get up though, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help. It keeps yoga free on the internet. We like that sagetransformations.com to work further together. Hmm. May your day be blessed. Namaste.